Hello, this is Tolfman Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, visually see the movement of elements in your Blender scene, the motion paths that your Blender, blender objects are taking inside of Blender. And it's not uh, a plug-in or anything like that. It's something that already comes inside of Blender. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can because uh, my son, daughter, and my wife, they're all home. So it's pretty hot outside, so everybody's kind of pretty much staying in. But let's, uh, let's animate this, this cube and see, get a visual of what I'm talking about here. I'm going to turn on my screencast keys. I just downloaded this version or this add-on. Hopefully this one won't crash Blender. I'm going to pull this up. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure this is set up the right way it's on the left hand side let's start this let's see how this okay it looks good let me close that out pull this up and turn on uh, the recorder for blender in blender 2.79 this would be red but in 2.8 and above it's uh, grayish color when you click on it and it turns blue that means it's activated so that's going to automatically help us um, log the movement of our object inside of Blender by having to press a keyboard shortcut. Let's turn on our move gizmo. I'm going to move this over here. Go up by 20 more frames. Hold down shift. Drag it on the Y axis. 20 more frames or 21. Move it again. And 60. And move it again. Now we've moved it. Let me move the keyboard, the shortcut keys up higher so that we can actually like see them. Move to the middle. All right there we go with that. Now we've moved it. Let's kind of reduce the uh, timeline here. Put it at let's say 80. Enter. I'm going to go back. Now, we've moved the cube around, but we can't actually see physically from from the onset the path of where the cube's going. And when you actually visualize it, or you can actually see it, it's helpful if you have a lot of uh, movement in your scene. You can actually tell what's going on and what path each object in your scene is taking. And in order to see the path make sure that your uh, object is selected then on the uh, objects tab go down to motion paths and click on calculate and then you can set the end our end is 80 enter and then click OK and then there, there it is that's the path that is taken and you, it's got different parameters inside of it so you can uh, see a little bit better when it comes to the display. You can click on frame numbers to see the number of frames, the actual, actual frames that it's going on each part of its path. You can turn on the keyframes, keyframe numbers, lines. You can change the thickness of the dots and the path itself to make it thicker. If you to help you see it better, you can change the color of it too. If you click on that, it turns it red. You can customize the color to whatever you want it to look like this, turn it to green, whatever you want to do. Now, once again, the real test of this is if it can track the motion path of several objects in the scene. Okay, so let, that's what we're going to do now. Let's turn this, uh, deactivate this. And then let's put in two more objects, uh, the monkey head and the sphere. So shift A. Let me see, where's the monkey head? Oh, there it is. And then shift A again, and we're going to put in a UV sphere. Let's drag that out. And once again, we have our, our uh, recording aspect of Blender to record the, the path of the objects. So let's click on that. I'm going to move it up. 20 more frames up, move to the left, 20 more frames, move it back, 20 more frames, 
move to the side then go back to the beginning and do the same thing with our sphere that's already been calculated for the first frame let's go 20 more frames so to speak we just kind of it's just pretty much not 20 but somewhat 20 it's 19 20 it's just the same drag it over 20 more frames move back 20 more frames move to the side and that's good now we're going to activate this again and see if it can calculate the movements of all of the objects that we've moved in our scene once again let's uh end it at 80 80 enter and then calculate okay okay did it for the sphere i guess you have to click on each one to calculate the path click on that 80 again enter calculate okay okay did it and the same things for the sphere calculate okay so it can do multiple objects at the same time but let's see if it can actually because i mean this is this would be kind of confusing if you had all these paths visible at the same time especially if you have a situation where you have uh, a lot of paths being crossed by the objects it would be really messy let's scroll down and see if we can, if we can see oh visibility okay so let's click on the monkey let's click off okay so that that works so that helps you organize or keep your scene organized whenever you use the motion path calculator inside of blender so yeah this is a quick tip that will help you actually visually see where your objects are going in blender and i think it actually also works for characters walking characters vehicles things like that so this is a blender quick tip for beginners if you're wanting to actually see that your path the motion path of your objects inside of blender just click on it go to the uh object properties and then go to the motion path settings and then set your end your beginning and end point and then click on calculate and it'll do it for you and to keep it organized go down to the display and activate or deactivate the frame number or let me see activate or deactivate it in the visibility by clicking on shown viewports activate it or deactivate it it, it works great so yeah that's my blender quick tip for today and i'm just kind of thankful that my children and my wife didn't come in during the uh <laughs> during the uh, tutorial but once again, thank you guys who have been watching the tutorials. And I hope this these tutorials have been helping as many people as possible. Thank you guys who have subscribed in the past and those of you who are subscribing now. And I will see you all on the next one. All right, adios.